Hey y'all. Today we are at a campground. Um, normally we are boondocking or backwoods. Um, today we're at a campground and this is Ovens Park in Nova Scotia. So I am just going to show you my rig here. Luna Rover. And you can see I am plugged in today, which is kind of cool. I have a new um, awning to put on. I've not installed it yet, but I will, and I'll be doing a video on that. And you can see I'm um, pulling it with a 2021 Ram Warlock. And this is our view, the Atlantic Ocean. It's a beautiful day, so stay tuned for our adventures. There's a nice chicken sandwich and a pop to eat. Beautiful view, that's the ovens over there. beautiful day. So we've been out in the Luna Rover, I don't know, maybe 10 times now. So I can give a more educated review of this. And what I can say is I'm very, very happy with what, with this, uh, with this purchase. Um, quality, quality, quality of things are just unbelievable. Like this countertop, it's like hard plastic and just very good quality. Like, like look at the tap and the sink, even the quality of the hooks that they have here are just, they're like, not what you'd expect in a camper. Got some speakers up here that I'll be showcasing later. Um, the control panel here, I have the water pump on. And you can see water works. I can even look at the backsplash. The backsplash is beautiful on this. Nice storage here. Keep coffee and such. Um, have some plugs for when you're plugged into shore power. Accent lights are blue. We'll show that off later. And the main light is up there, shines in. Nice shelving and storage area up top here. We keep all our dishes in there and the cabinetry is beautiful as well. Nice slow close. Closes on its own. And we have a Coleman fridge that you can see is running off of either battery or shore power. And right now it's running off of shore power because we're plugged in. And you can see all the delicious pop and food that we have in there. Underneath here, uh, I have some propane tanks. And I did a little mod here that is a battery gauge and it's this is where the battery is this just wires on to the positive and negative of the battery throughout this camper there's this flooring and it's like a weaved almost turf like but smooth carpet I would call it um, easy to clean stuff up and we have more storage there, and that's where we have our garbage and paper towel. So, here's the Dometic range that we have. And we use that often for coffee and cooking. So, I'll show you more in a minute. Looking at the side of the Luna Rover, it has quite a few different things here. Right here is the 
propane compartment and you can see it's properly vented underneath there vented here as well you can see that we have the shore power going in here this here is where solar plugs into cable I'll never use that I don't know what that's for that might be a vent for potentially propane from the stove I'm not sure I'm not worried about it here is the potable water and um, hose water uh, we also have a pressure regulator that goes on when you hook a hose up to this. You can see it's dusty because we've been doing lots of backwood stuff. Uh, we have a FM antenna, exterior light, and we have sliding windows. A nice feature is these LED turn signals on top of the uh, on top of the fender, and of course the giant off-road tires and ground clearance. The ground clearance of this is immense. Like, look underneath this thing. Like these tires are 235, 75 R15s. And the camper is above the middle of the hub. So it's it's tall, It's it's really tall. And as you can see, there's nothing really to bite when you're off-roading. Potentially, uh, if I do go seriously off-road, I'll relocate the spare tire inside for the for the duration. Um, it's all beauty aluminum welded frames. The welds are all nice. It's uh, it's really top quality gear. I'm pretty stoked about this. What else do we have on this side? Oh, uh, oh, we have the foot. You can actually step on these, and I'm a big guy. Holds my weight. Roof racks and the Max Air fan. And you can see the roof is all one piece. So nothing to leak. And we've had this for, I don't know, a couple months now, and no leaks whatsoever. And there's the view again. Beauty. Another thing Intech pulled off uh, that's really nice is their attention to detail. Little things like this and this. It's a magnetic doorstop. No blowing doors. It's, uh, it's nice. And then you have the beautiful window there that is actually looking at the rear of my truck. But as you can see, this is from the inside out. Another thing about it is the privacy. The, the privacy is, uh, is top notch because you can walk by this and not see in it. So I noticed the uh, camper was a little tilted. So because of the lay of the land, we have these little leveling blocks. And now, if you look, it's nice and level. Gotta like it. This is a little walking trail along uh, along the campground. Very nice. Just a little shot of the camper over there. The rocks look cool here. So apparently this was a gold a gold rush area. It's been picked clean.
a little underwater cave. what this is. Let's see. That's Cannon Cave. I'm going to go in it in a minute. But I saw this. So apparently there's a Netflix show that was filmed here. It's really cool. These cliffs are uh, pretty neat. Okay, so this is that cave. Eek. Oh, this is cool. I do not want to wipe out. Oh. Look at this. This is cool. So this is Cannon Cave. Let's see what happens here. You can hear it. Cool. Look at that sketchy bug. do a little tour of the inside now that I've gotten used to it. Uh, two doors. In through. You can go at the other side. They have, uh, they have locks on them. Some storage up there. I keep my drone and I keep my bear spray on that side. And got a little bit of art, fire extinguisher, and a teddy bear up there. There's more storage up here. So, got a bunch of DVDs, miscellaneous junk, and some mosquito coils. Little rug hook my wife did. And some books and a game there. And I have the little uh, Nintendo behind the TV nice thing about this is uh, it's got some good privacy options. Got some blinds that come down. Very nice. Those are just for privacy and if you want some dark you can pull down even further and they dark right out. Which is super cool. See, they go up like that. I like the blue accent lights. Um, also has main lights there, like so. It's got outside porch lights. And there's a front accent light, which I will show you guys later. We have some cushions on the, uh, the, rear, the rear seats with the table there. And I have a little Mr. Buddy heater that we just tried out and it got nice and toasty in here. Um, don't run these overnight. And you gotta make sure that your carbon monoxide detector is, uh, is working. And whenever I run the Mr. Buddy, I... up the top of the max air and blow air inward I'd say blow it in at 10% and there we 
there's my neighbors over there. Very cool. There is also storage under here. So paper towel and Gaviscon and paperwork. And there's storage under here. Bug spray, toilet stuff, stuff to sweep, you know. The quality is really nice. The 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 workmanship is very nice in this uh, And then again, there's the toilet, and toilet paper, and hand sanitizer. Show you some more when it gets dark. So we have some haddock baking in there. And we got a steak cook in there. And we have some garlic bread cook in there. And we have some roasted potatoes and peas. It's going to be a good supper. Yum yum. And it's supper time. Got some steak, some green onions, some potatoes, roasted potatoes, and peas, and some nice garlic bread. This is Brute Force, has the same thing, except she's got some barbecued haddock. A little after supper look at the ocean. Getting a little fire cooking. those customary marshmallows roasting in a minute. Roasting marshmallows, yeah, look at that. Yummy. Finally, it's got cool blue lights, inside and out. Super chill. Also, overhead lights and outside porch lights on both sides. So I think that concludes my tour of our new Luna Rover. There'll be lots more content. Please like, share, and subscribe. Have a good night. So it's seven in the morning the next day. Just woke up. It's 10 degrees Celsius, a little chilly. Just wanted to show you what I woke up to. Amazing night at Ovens Park in Nova Scotia. Have a good one. Like, share, and subscribe.